back, and I want to thank uh, Willie and Monique for uh, throwing this over to us. Look what I have with me. These gentlemen just finished performing on stage. I have leader, co-founder, uh, Junior Rivera, and Ernie Acevedo de Grupo Imagen. Welcome to Boricua Festival, gentlemen. Thank you, thank My you, pleasure. Thank you. Junior, uh, tell me one thing. You play the Cuban Tres. Before you started playing the Cuban Tres, I know you were playing guitar, right? What made the transition? Well, uh, I started listening to some Johnny Pacheco, I said Rodriguez, and I said, wait a minute, what kind of guitar is that? It has a different kind of sound, so I got involved with that. I found out some information, and uh, look at me now, that's what I'm playing now, I'm making a living out of it. Absolutely. Uh, for those who don't know what the Cuban Tres is, could you just uh, simplify it? The Cuban Tres is a three-string guitar with double strings. It's tuned to the open C tuning for those that play guitar, GCE. And it's a very simple instrument, and I recommend it to anybody. It's nice. Thank you, Junior. Ernie, let's talk a little bit about your career. I know that you started off with many different artists, Pacheco, Santiago Cerón, Ralph Ralph Santi, Santi, Seguro, Modelo, exactly. uh, on and on. You um, started off as a bass player first and then went to conga? Uh, no, no. Um, at the age of nine, I started playing congas. Uh, I used to play with a group, local group in the area. Yeah. Um, also, I started from there, I decided to make my own little group at the age of 12, 13. And um, I started playing piano for a little while, I think for about two years. And then uh, what I did was, um, after that, I took up bass, which I went to Boys Harbor. Right, right. Uh, Brooklyn, I'm sorry. Johnny Colombo Brooklyn, Music School, right? I, I went Brooklyn there to Conservatory also, Brooklyn Conservatory, exactly. which is where I learned how to uh, play bass and read. Um, also, uh, from there, I went back to the conga, which is, uh, you know, it's the instrument that, you know, calls... El cuero que llama la yeah, sangre. Yeah, yeah you know how, you know how that is. <laughs> and that's where I've been at, from there, here. And um, since I've been playing professional for now uh, a good 23 years, um, I'm here now with my group, Grupo sure. Imagen, and performing here. It's been my pleasure to do this. We uh, wanna, we wanna thank you for coming down to Boricua Festival. Definitely. Este festival is annual. It's a, this is the fourth annual already. Next year we're gonna make it even bigger and better. Mm -hmm. This is live broadcasting now for for the people that are out there who just don't know about Grupo Imagen. Right. What are the expectations of Grupo Imagen now and the years to come? Well, um, right now we just finished recording a new album. Um, we're in um, pr process of uh, working a deal with Combo Records, and hopefully that you know the process and the uh, the contract is a good one. And, and sure. if it is, uh, it'll be coming out next month. Well, whether whether the company or not, it'll be out next month, which is uh, called Contra La Fuerza, the new album. And I hope that you go out there and pick it up, people. Please pick it up at your new CD, and also please keep away from the bullet. Let me ask you a question. How many CDs does Grupo Imagen? I know that it was Conjunto Imagen when you right. kept the typical Criollo style of music. Right. Incorporating now the big band sound with timbales, you change it to Grupo Imagen. Why the change? Because um, I guess I went with the trend. I mean, you know, we're going with, you know, the... Uh, you went with the flow. The, the, yeah, the era, the era is different now. So it's a, no, it's a younger era. They're into uh, the Conjunto music is there, but they like more of the big band sound, you know. So we decided to put a timbales, a baritone sax, and um, that's what changed the band a little bit. Although we kept the tres, so sure, the tres yeah, well, is what. Well, he's the co-leader also, so yeah. like you got to get everybody else before yeah, you get rid of the, the yeah. tres player. So you know, I mean, that's this is this is the um, this is the uh, body of the music. This is the guy that absolutely. I mean, without this guy, I mean, we can sound good, but. We sound better. No, it has a typical steel, uh, estilo a typical. When different. you're talking about the tres, it's just like putting the cuatro in a bomba plena too. Yeah. It changes the whole composition of the tune. And I really believe that Grupo Imagen has made a tremendous impact in the world today because, you know, you have so many albums accredited to you guys. You did the Criollo stuff. I think you did a Christmas album also. Yeah. Well, do you want to tell us a little bit about the Christmas album? The Christmas album, we had some special invited guests. We had Yomo Toro, the master, and another great flute player, uh, Jose Fajardo. Fajardo. Well, tell me, uh, Fajardo, the Cuban flautist, oh. and of course, uh, Yomo Toro, el, el Rey del Cuatro de Puerto Rico. How did it feel performing with such an icon? Oh, it was an honor, man. It was, an, an, it was an honor, and, that's, and that guy's the most humble guy in the world, man. Yeah, yeah I played with him many times. Yomo Toro is, is a special man. Um, he is El Rey del Cuatro. He represents lo que es el, el tiro Boric. Which That's is right. what this festival is That's all right. about. That's right. That's right. It would have been good to have him here, man. Right well, you yeah. know, hopefully uh, the Boricua Festival can get together in years to come and do something real quick to get something going with Yomotoro. Thank you. Really, Villegas and Anaphos, but I have some people in mind. Huh? Yes. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating, fascinating. 